Sometimes I feel lost in this modern world, this world of blind Christian values. My ancestors were Viking berserkers who slew many enemies without fear, and I'm forced to live in this overprotected society that wants us not to be strong. They wish that we were all brainwashed, humble, weaklings that yield as slaves for their almighty God's acceptance. This is why my band Bursum is made of unearthly fantasy and magic. Bursum translates to darkness. It is my darkness against the light of Christianity and the twisted society that has imprisoned me. My name is Varg Vikernes, and this is my story. And that's Snorri Ruch. I'm allowing him to sleep in my apartment here in Bergen until he finds his own. He is the new guitarist with the band, Mayhem, that I'm sadly still involved with. Mayhem's drummer, Hellhammer, is a good guy, but their lead guitarist, Euronymous, is a real prick. It's sad how much he cares about being the center of attention. It's his own damn fault he's so hated by everyone in the black metal community now. He closed down the only good black metal record store in Oslo. I'm not selling any CDs there now that he closed Helvete. In my opinion, he's a damn wimp and an idiot. Hello? Let me talk to Snorri. Uh, hold on. Snorri! Snorri! Wake up! You have phone call. Yes. Snorri, it's your anonymous. I need you to come bail me out to jail. Jail? You're in jail? Well, uh... That's the last of two guys with a broken bottle. What did you do that for? They were looking at my girlfriend a little too much at the bus stop. So, I was compelled to, uh... <laughs> They're in the hospitals now. But listen, Snorri, can you drive down to Oslo and bail me out of jail? That's seven hours away, Euronymous. Damn it, Snorre, you're my only chance. And you're hanging out on Vikernes' couch all the way out in Bergen? I don't even own an automobile. Varg would have to drive me in his car with his gas well, all the way over there. Never mind, then. I can't stand that guy. I don't know why you two pal around all the time now. I don't like the idea of him corrupting the guitarist of my band with his insanity. Are you trying to tell me I'm the only person you know in all of Norway that he is even considering picking you up right now? It's all because of Varg. He just turned everyone against me. I swear he's bastardizing a whole genre of music. Nobody takes our band seriously now because of that media stunt of his. <laughs> what was he thinking telling that reporter about the church fires? Like the police wouldn't find out to make a big deal out of it. Yeah, okay, right. We shouldn't care what people think of us in the first place. We play black metal. And any press will just help us sell records, right? But it's all about Varg now, not Mayhem, some band he once played bass for. And the media doesn't care about the music we play. They just care about how evil Varg is for burning down eight churches. But Euronymous, weren't you the one who started the Fantoff church fire last year? Shut up, Snorri! It would be a lot better without Varg at all. That bastard needs to be gone for good. <sighs> Guess I'm going to call my mom now to bail me out of fucking jail. Your is crazy. He's fucking crazy. Ever since he had to close down the Helwete shop, he's just been blaming you for all his own moronic problems. What an idiot. The only reason he closed the shop was because his mom and pop were scared of all the attention I was bringing him in the press. I only gave the interview to that stupid reporter in order to get the shop more business, which it probably would have got if Ronowin wouldn't have closed it as soon as the reporter ran to the police. He made that six weeks I spent in a cell completely pointless. And he wants to kick my ass? I don't think so, man. Euronymous has never been much of a sympathetic kind of guy. He just shanked two dudes the other night for looking at his girlfriend. I suppose if back in your corner even the biggest cows can become dangerous. If you take me with a broken bottle, I'll knock him with my spike bag. Euronymous, finally we can actually practice now. 
Well, it's not like I expected you guys to get anything accomplished while I was gone. This band sounds dildos without my guitar playing. Well then, what are you doing? Let's play something. We've been waiting around for you all day long. What about that? Anonymous, where the hell is your guitar? And what the hell is all that stuff in there? It's for the Count. Count Krishnek. <laughs> I want to make a necklace out of the Kernis' bones. So I take it we're done practicing for the day. Our music would be futile as long as the Kernis walks this earth. That's why we need to make it magically disappear. Forever. You can't just go around murdering other musicians. People tend to notice that kind of thing. Oh, how close-minded you are, Snorri. Do either of you two remember Friedrich? The Polish guy? Oh yeah, I remember that guy. Whatever happened to him? Well, one night I got tired of Friedrich's shit. And maybe a little arsenic fell into his drink. He fell very ill and was forced to return to Poland. And was never heard from again. Sound familiar? I don't believe you. Believe what you will, Snorri. But I swear to Satan himself, Bard the Kurnus will be next. And it won't be as easy to take care of. That is why I want you guys to help me. Hieronymus, you crazy bastard. Hey Vard, you saw Euronymous, he got bailed. Yeah, he stopped by to tell us his whole scheme. You remember what in what scheme do you speak of? He wants to seriously fuck you up, man. Has he contacted <laughs> you yet? Yeah, I got a letter from him today. It says to meet up tomorrow in Oslo and give him this signed contract that terminates any connection between Borsum and his DSP records. It's the only BS reason he could contact me for. And after this, I'll never have to deal with this shit again. You shouldn't go, man. You know he's planning on knocking you unconscious when you give him that contract, right? What? He told you this? He told us he was going to taser you, drive you into the woodlands, tie you to a tree, and then went into graphic detail about how he would torture you to death. And he wanted me to video this whole process. What is this guy's goddamn problem? I didn't want to have to deal with Euronymous' dumbass anymore! So what are you going to do? Maybe I'll just go kick his ass. You should watch yourself then, Vard. He said a couple weeks ago he got a shotgun back that Ted used to shoot himself with. And who knows what other sinister weapons his blood might behold. Crap. Well, I could just go to Oslo tonight when he's not expecting me. Hand in the signed contract, tell him to fuck off. Simple as that. Then I'll never have to deal with the guy again. Well, if you're going to see Euronymous tonight, could you take me with you? I have some new riffs I want to show him. So could you try and restrain yourself from beating his ass? Okay, I'll just go give him the contract and then drop you off, okay? Yeah, that's fine. I don't really have a problem with your Anonymous. Seems like I'm the only one, really. Finally. I'll never have to make contact with this bastard again. This is... <laughs> wow! Nasty chemical sticks. Who goes there? It's Vickerness, let me in. Uh, I'm sleeping. Can't you come back later? No, I have your damn contract. Do you want it or not? Snorri, 
Let's go. He opens it. Oh. oh, no smoking. I can't smoke in there. I can't smoke in the car. When the hell can a guy just smoke a fucking cigarette? Well, I'm just gonna go give him the contract. Then. What the fuck are you up to, you ominous? Why did you start to fight with me? Such a coward. You freaking stabbed me! Get the hell away from me! Help! Anyone! You started it! Leave me alone! That fucking hurts! You played me for a fool? I thought you'd get away just to plot against my life some more? Why can't you stand and fight out? I have no regrets for saving my own life. It's really simple. The big point is that uh, the guy I killed intended to kill me. So I killed him before he managed to kill me. He tried, but he failed. So, obviously he's dead. <laughs> what do I have to regret for saving my own life?